We've received so many questions, so many emails regarding unemployment in our state. So many people are telling us that they're having problems with the Department of Labor system where you have to go on and file for your unemployment benefits. We want to bring in Matt Carbray from Ridgeline Financial Partners, and he is a certified financial planner. And Matt, what have you been hearing from your clients about the troubles with the system? Yeah, Amanda, thanks for having me on. I've been hearing a lot from individuals that have tried to go onto the system to the Connecticut Department of Labor and process an unemployment claim. And what they're finding is that they're getting error messages, they are getting locked out, that the system just can't seem to be able to handle the capacity of applications that are being uploaded in a very short time period. And, you know, we're hearing the same thing. We've got emails from Eric, who said that the software appears to be broken. We have one from Karen, who says she's not sure when she's going to see those benefits. You know, we heard from the Department of Labor that said, make sure you check your junk email just in case something went to that instead of your inbox. What are you hearing specifically from the Department of Labor? Yeah, so I was able to reach out to a contact that I have at the Department of Labor, and the first thing that they said is that the technology that they're utilizing just doesn't have the bandwidth to be able to handle this. So it's not even as much as the need to bring on additional humans, uh, because there is the need for that. And as you've probably heard, they're looking to add at least 80 more people, maybe if not more than that. But much like any other technology that gets overridden in times like this, which think about the amount of people that are utilizing the internet, a lot can be said for websites like the state of Connecticut's uh, Department of Labor that are running into some, to some of the same issues. So it's going to take time to work through all of it. But the one thing that people should realize is that benefits have the ability to be paid back retroactively. So you're not missing out on you know, the days that go on until you can actually get your application in there. What are you telling people who are just also worried about you know, living day to day, having the money to pay those bills? Yeah. Yeah, so we're giving our clients and just people in general advice to reach out to your mortgage servicer. And the governor did pass something that is going to provide individuals the ability to push out mortgage payments for three months. And I would highly recommend that you do that. Be proactive. Some of the mortgage servicers are saying that you have to wait until you get closer to the due date of your mortgage. So I would say that that would be the first place to start. If you happen to have a car loan, I would maybe even reach out to whoever your car loan is through, the financing arm, or if you have a lease even for that matter. And at the absolute worst case scenario, they're gonna maybe extend the term, uh, the two or three months that you're given to buy yourself some time uh, in understanding that most people are just having a hard time with general cash flow right now. All right, Matt, thank you so much for joining us and talking a little bit about this issue with the Department of Labor. We also did receive a statement from the governor's office, from his communications director, Max Reese, saying that the state is doing everything it can to make sure that it speeds up the system as much as it can. And like you said, putting more people, even quadrupling the amount of people to handle these claims. So thanks so much. Thank you.